Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. And baby, Dr. Shanita got on live last night. And when I tell you she spilled Earl Grey tea, oolong tea, sweet tea, green tea, let's get into it. So we're gonna start right here with the dentist, right? She was the first up. And I didn't watch Messy Monday yesterday, but I may watch it and I may not, I may get real upset, but so Shanita was saying, this woman doesn't know me. Like, they've been in the same room. They've been to different events together. But she doesn't know Shanita. And she just calling her out of her name. Like, you know, some people do that. Some people talk like that. But everybody not know B's and H's. Well, you know, I'm not your homegirl like that. I don't move like that. You understand what I'm saying? But she's so she's so small. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know she's not small right here, but she's so small. And let's just get into it. Happened to her a few times. I can't even count the times. But we had a conversation before, like, girl, do you take NFL insurance? I want to bring my children to the dentist's office. So we've had like an interaction, some way, somehow. I'm not using the word friend. I'm just saying this lady knows of me. You get what I'm saying? And I know she's, I think she's close with Dr. Jackie. Shout out to Dr. Jackie. That's one of my daughter's OBGYN. I don't know if that's against HIPAA law, but that's one of my daughter's doctors. So I'm, I'm, I'm around these people in some capacity. To have this lady call me out my name, this whole, this big, da 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 da, da beep, 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 it, it was hurtful. Like, I couldn't understand why another black woman, somebody that's in a medical profession, I'm raising three future doctors in my house. Everybody who knows that Jordan left for LSU. My daughter is studying biology to be pre-med. She wants to be a dermatologist. I got another one in here that wants to be a pediatrician. I got another one in here that wants to be a veterinarian. So when you talk about professionalism, when you talk about our doctors and our lawyers and our engineers, I feel like they live by a different standard because they're a representation mm. to our community and to our children. I'm not saying that Dr. Heavenly couldn't have an opinion. Everybody has a right to an opinion, right? That's why we're human. We can say what we want to say. I'm just trying to figure out why I had to be disrespected so bad. Shanita was saying that the dentist, you know, she has a right to her opinion. But what she wanted to know was why does she need to be disrespected so bad? Because she is a small individual, Shanita. Like, She's not happy with what she's doing. She grew up in a room that had no windows. So there's no light in her life. So I'm sorry. I apologize to you on her behalf. Because whatever that name is that she want to go by, I can't do it. Right? She is nobody's friend at all. At all. Let's keep going. Dr. Heavenly, I'm disappointed. Mm -hmm. I I'm extremely disappointed. And maybe it was for clickbait. Maybe it was fun. Maybe, you know, whatever the case may be. But I need you to know as a black woman, I, I'm never going nowhere calling nobody, no H HOE publicly. I'm not going to say I'm a saint because I'll be cussing people out in private. I ain't going to lie. But publicly, I'm not getting on no public platform nowhere on this earth and trying to diminish or tear down another black woman. Even if I have to disagree, I'm going to try to find the best way possible to disagree with that person without making it look crazy. It's differences between, like, statue or women, right? Decorum. Like, she's a, she's a you know, she's a girl's girl right? She, she can do what it is that she needs to do, but she knows how to carry herself in situations. The dentist is like not a girl's girl. She just knows how to be one way, which is absolutely certifiably insane. Now let's get on to Carlos. For what they do. That's what he get paid to do. He gets paid to find the drama, create drama, bring it to the television and he get why do why do we expect anything other than what he is doing like why are you expecting like that's like shout out to wendy williams praying for her that's like expecting wendy williams to not sit on the couch and talk crazy to people it's what he does the only part that i don't understand is 
I feel like he should have a mutual space. Yeah. If you're the creator of a show, if you're a producer of a show, then you should want to see the show succeed. Like, not pick who you like, who you don't like, or whatever the case may be. Use other people to do that. Everybody talking about, excuse me, I'm Mel's lap dog. Well, nope, I'm not going to do that. I agree with her 100%. Carlos is the executive producer, the king of reality, right? It's cool if you go on other people's podcasts and talk about these shows. But it's not cool when you take certain sides on your show and it's apparent that you're taking sides. And then you bring on one of the most... You bring on someone who is so messy and just has just a garbage can, right? Right? You bring in a garbage can to continue your mess, Carlos. That's what you do. You should set yourself apart. Andy Cohen does throw shade, but you don't see him talking about the people on his show. He will be on his podcast talking about a show, but it is in a very professional way. You're just messy, sir. Let's keep going. Let's get into Destiny. Child, so if you don't know who this lady is, <laughs> baby, this is Miss Tip Drill herself. You remember when Nelly slid the card? Miss Tip Drill. Baby, this is um, what they call a white chocolate, but her name is Monique. This is her friend. And she helped Monique get off the pole. She helped Monique become successful. Monique is married and doing her thing, right? So... Y'all remember on the show when Destiny said, oh, I remember her. She was a waitress and I was a hostess. Shanita said she had to really think about it because she hadn't had a job in years. And she had to go back and figure out what she was, what Destiny was really talking about. Baby, she talked about the edits. Let's get into it. Destiny says out of her mouth, oh, Shanita, I know you. I want everybody to listen again. Destiny says, Oh, Shanita, I know you. I looked and I said, You know me. I need everybody to listen very closely because here go where a hard edit comes. And here come where some hard receipts about to come I say you know me she says yes white chocolate I'm like white chocolate the girl's name never made it to TV I'm about to drop these receipts I'm like white chocolate and I say white chocolate I say Monique cause that is her old stage name she getting ready to get on by the way by the way, let me edify. This is her friend. And when she asked Monique about Destiny, she was like, I told you I don't know that bra. Right? Then Destiny told this girl, Shanita, that she was going with a rapper. Shanita bought another person on. That woman said, well, Destiny probably was going with him, and he probably did knock her down, but... He was not going with her. That seems to be a running thing for Destiny. Like, she's in these relationships and she doesn't even know she's in them. And they also said that it seemed like Destiny was trying to embarrass Shanita because this was her friend and she used to be a stripper. This woman, Destiny, you could be a stripper right now because this woman is accomplished and she is good at this point in her life. Maybe you need to get on the pole. Shanita went on and on, honey, but I had to go to bed and I'll post some more later. But I had to tell you what she said about Trish. Shanita said, <laughs> basically, she could not understand how Trish was over here talking and throwing so many stones at Sonny. And you over here got a whole husband and a boyfriend. No, a fiancé. Right? And that's why people are like, oh, you got so much to say. But she got so much to say that's right. They got a problem with Shanita sticking up for Mel. This is Mel's friend. Hell, Shanita used to be this girl bodyguard. I don't blame Mel. Y'all, we can talk about all of this. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.